Hello, and welcome to another video from Sustenance Hand Cover and the only YouTube channel you need to not only survive current apocalypse, but actually enjoy it. And today I'm starting a new series on gun basics. And when I say basics, I mean basics. We're not going to go into any deep, intimate, technical details about every caliber or bullet size out there. We're not going to cover every manufacturer and make a firearm. We're not going to start any kind of debates. I'm just going to give you my honest opinion of things that I think will help you, someone who is new to gun ownership. In fact, this video series may help you to decide whether or not you even want to own a gun. But over the course of the next couple of videos, I hope I can answer all of your basic questions about firearm ownership, maintenance, and choice. All right, first off, I've always wanted to do a series of uh, videos about basic gun ownership. It's always been in the back of my head along with a thousand other videos. But I got a, uh, a request on my YouTube channel the other day from someone who asked, what is the best gun for a woman for self-defense and hunting? First off, the best for self-defense and hunting. It's kind of like saying, what's the best tool for working on a car? A screwdriver or a wrench? And you know that if you're trying to get a bolt out of a car, a screwdriver won't work and vice versa. So basically that's, and it, and it seems like, you know, you figure all guns do the same thing. They throw a piece of lead down range at a high velocity. And basically, that's kind of true and there are ways that you could potentially kill a food item with a pistol and there's ways you can defend yourself somewhat with a rifle but we'll cover that over the course of the series as far as the other aspect of it the best gun for a woman well the best gun for a woman is a myth there is no best gun for a woman the best gun for a woman is also the best gun for a man uh, the reason this even comes up is because a lot of men, and you can go on YouTube and look, they've got just probably who knows how many videos of young, small, you know, 90 pound women with big giant rifles trying to shoot them and getting themselves knocked out because their boyfriend or husband thought that would be cute to catch on tape. The fact is those guns are not good for them women, but they ain't good for the boyfriends or husbands either because any time that it is work, to shoot a firearm, that's not what you want. There's nobody, if, if a gun is powerful enough to knock down a 90 pound person, it can still put a hurt on a 300 pound person. So it's not something you need. Uh, first, first thing though, I need to get out on what's best for a man, what's best for a woman, don't make no difference. If you're not willing to practice, there ain't no gun that's good for you because it's, it's useless. You know, it's like having this guitar right here. You know, what's the best guitar for me? Well, you know how to play? No. Are you going to practice? No. Well, you know what? No guitar is good for you. That guitar right there, or whichever one, I guess that's, that might be the first guitar head. I can't remember. But uh, I remember sitting in a chair in my living room every day for about 30 days, just about crying, trying to, I'd take this hand and I'd be trying to set my fingers on there to hold that one chord. It took me 30 days of working out on that guitar to make one chord and I thought this is never ever you know there's thousands of chords on a guitar and it took me 30 days to master one chord well here's the good news with a gun you only got one chord it ain't like a guitar with thousands of chords you spend about 30 days with this put about a thousand rounds through it you're set you're set for life I'm not gonna tell you you don't ever have to practice you don't want to get rusty every now and then just break it out and put a few rounds down range it's good for you and it's good for the gun. But you are going to have to practice. Now, what's the best best gun? You know what? We got a ser uh, One of the series is going to be gun basics, and it's going to describe the difference between a rifle and a pistol, so on and so forth, automatic, uh, uh, semi-automatic. And we got one about what's the best bullet. Well, I got a video, you know, bullet basics. Tells you about the few of the ones that uh, I think are the best for you. And hopefully, you'll watch the whole series, and you'll enjoy it, and maybe you'll learn something. 
But this series is not for people that are on some kind of gun forum. Uh, if this is your first step into it, you may eventually decide you want to become a gun enthusiast and just spend all day typing back and forth with middle-aged fat men about every single uh, aspect of every gun they've ever owned. But a gun to me is just a tool, and in survival it's a tool you may need. And hopefully I can help you to make some decisions about that.